Hello and welcome to this short video demonstrating how to upgrade your audit automation database from DBase to SQL. My name is Richard McChesney and I am one of the product managers within Walters Kluwer Tax and Accounting. This video is one of three videos I've created relating to the SQL release of CCH audit automation. Let's dive right in and have a look at what you need to do to upgrade your data. The first thing you need to know is that the SQL version of Audit Automation enables you to store multiple accounting periods in one database. You will no longer need to log out of one client and into another simply to change years. But from an upgrade perspective, this means that you firstly need to ensure that all the accounting periods that you wish to upgrade exist in the DBase client menu. Assuming they do, open the Audit Client Data Converter utility. Ask your system manager if you do not know where to find this. Please note, before opening the utility, you will need to close both the DBase and SQL versions of Audit Automation on your computer. And the DBase version of Audit Automation must be installed on the computer that you are using to do the upgrade because the upgrade process uses the Borland database engine, which is installed with the DBase version but not with the SQL version. The first time you use the Audit Automation Client Data Converter, you will need to configure the three fields at the top of the screen to tell the converter where to find your data. In this example, I'm going to assume that you have already restored old DBase databases if necessary and have all the years of data for each client that you want to upgrade to SQL already available within the DBase client menu. If you only want to upgrade a single year, then all you do is tick the checkbox on the left and then click Next. But I'm going to show you how to combine two years into one database, which means that there is one additional step to the upgrade process. And to do this, click on the record of the first year and hold down the control button and click on the record of the second year. Repeat if there are additional years. Once all years have been selected, right click on one of the highlighted records and select Link Clients. You'll be offered the opportunity to enter new code and a company name. Do this and then click OK. Having done that, I now need to tick the company that I want to upgrade and click the Next button. Now it is a simple process of following the wizard and waiting for the computer to complete the upgrade process. After completing the upgrade, an error log will be displayed alerting you to any potential problems with the converted data. You should review these areas to confirm that the conversion is satisfactory. When you log into the SQL version of Audit Automation next, you will see the client that you have just upgraded automatically added to the client list. Thank you for watching this video demonstrating how to upgrade your data to the SQL version of Audit Automation. There are two other videos that I recommend that you watch if you haven't already done so. These are the Introduction to SQL and the Managing Working Papers video. All our videos, including the video series about the October 2016 Audit Automation release, are available in the What's News section of our website. If you have any further questions about the SQL version of Audit Automation, please do not hesitate to contact our support team. Lastly, please note it is not mandatory to upgrade to the SQL version. You can remain on the DBase version, which we expect to continue to support while there is reasonable demand. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.